one of the biggest challenges that I face in this whole welding project is the spray fall. Everywhere above about here on the hull is backed with two to four inches of spray and foam insulation, which is really nice if you're living on a boat all winter long in Alaska, but if you need to weld on that hull, it's a little bit of a problem. So I've determined that this foam is the fire retardant type of foam, so that's good. It doesn't really like to burn, but I still just can't help but kind of have some concern about it. And so I wanted to do another experiment where I'm going to take some pieces of the foam that I cut out of the boat, and I want to do some welding basically against it, next to it, get some arc spatter on it, get it really hot, and just see, does this whole thing burn up in flames, or does it just kind of melt and sputter and put itself out? It's been a few weeks since I ran a fire foam experiment, so I just wanted to refresh my memory on how volatile this stuff is. So I think what I'm gonna do is create some kind of a metal sandwich, holds the foam against the metal, and then I'll do some welding experiments on where I spray um, the arc on the foam next to it, get it very hot, just kind of see does this whole foam burst in flames, melt away, not do anything. Stay tuned, I'll show you the results. Don't breathe this stuff at home. That's what they say. Very terrible to breathe. So I'm gonna hold my breath while it's smoking. Are you ready? Yeah. Here we go. Just kidding. <laughs> Audrey looks worried. <laughs> well, the results are in. Don't breathe that stuff. I'm not breathing in. There's a little breeze going that way, so I actually can't even smell it from here, but um, it melted away flamed a tiny bit it put itself out quickly and it didn't actually even melt that much so that's pretty interesting kind of smelly luckily we're outside there was a little breeze going I could actually see the smoke going that way and I held my breath the entire time I was welding it's like, um, sometimes the best respirator is just holding your breath. It's probably not an OSHA message there, but anyhow, yeah, so the results are here. I just ran a little bead, 6011, eighth inch rod there. Uh, real splattery, splattering splatters all over the foam. The arc was right there against the foam. And you can see it melted away a fair bit, but it didn't go more than from the live arc, it didn't melt more than a half an inch, and it didn't even burn. See, it's not a very big piece of foam, and it didn't burn more than just a tiny bit. There was a tiny bit of flame for a few seconds, but basically once the arc was removed, the um, flame pretty much just dissipated, put itself out. So that's kind of what I figured from last time when I played with this. It's um, comforting, I guess, but still the smoke is very smoky. That little bit of foam burning released a lot of nasty smoke. So don't really want it in the boat either. So I'd say the conundrum continues. I wouldn't ask, is it safe to burn against the foam? We all know it's not safe, but is it reasonable to do some welding in some spots on the hull, trying to minimize the heat and therefore avoid demolishing all of the interior fittings on the boat, the cupboards, 
the plumbing, the wiring, plywood, and the foam. Still not really made up my mind on this. I can tell you that everybody who doesn't have to do the work thinks I should do the work, but I'm not convinced. 